guys, today I wanted to show you, um, some of you had asked about some recent Target purchases that I've made, and so I wanted to show those to you. Um, I feel like I've looked really tired in my last couple of videos. I've been doing them when I get home from school in the afternoons, and um, by the end of the day I'm exhausted, so I sort of look a little zombie-esque. But anyway, I wanted to show you, um, I'm sorry for reaching over, some of the things that I've purchased at Target recently, Q-tips, you don't need to see that. Um, mostly cl uh, clothing items. Now I did get some super cute, um, I think it's, I don't know if it's Marona or Mossimo, I get those mixed up. I did get, they have two blouses, well they actually have a rack of different kind of just short sleeve kind of loose blouses, and I got two of them. I actually can't show them to you because they're in the laundry. Um, they're actually in the washing machine right now. But they're just short sleeve, kind of silky looking material blouses. And one has, um, one is white with black polka dots and then the other is like a maroon and navy color. But the first thing I got was I needed some knee socks to wear with boots. And I was walking, um, I was looking at the tights. They have really cute pattern tights and leggings right now. They had really cute, like a gray um, with white polka dots. But I really needed some knee socks to wear with boots. And so I found this pair. This is, um... I think this is just a Marona brand. They have the sale sticker. But I got these on sale for um, $1.20. <laughs> Can't be that. And they're just some dark brown knee socks. And they don't really have, um, they're a little bit textured, but they don't really have like a pattern to them or anything. And then I saw these, and these were also $1.20. And I just thought they were so cute. It's a tan color, which look really good underneath brown or black boots. And they have little um, polka dots on them. These are just some knee socks. And then I also got, uh, most of everything I got um, in the last couple of days has been on sale. And then they had Marona trouser socks, three for $2.10. Definitely check those end caps right now because it looks like almost everything, um, well, I won't say almost everything, but a very large portion of the clothes and socks and accessories are on sale right now, like significant sale, like 50 to 70% off. It looks to me like they're maybe going to start getting some more fall stuff in and they're trying to like filter that out because I don't usually see sales that are that good. I just really like hit the jackpot this week. I mean, these are just trouser socks and I like these because they're a little bit more thin. Um... And the only thing I don't like about them is they sometimes make your feet sweaty, but I like them because they're not as hot as a thick sock. And since the weather is sort of like back and forth, but it's just a black, a brown, and a tan. I don't, the brown's not really showing up on camera. The brown's in the middle, but a black, a brown, and a tan. I just really needed socks. And then the next thing I got that's much more exciting than socks is they had a lot of their dresses are marked 50% off. And so I, like I've told you all, I'm getting ready to leave to go to Texas um, for about a week for a wedding. And I found these dresses that I thought would be good because they're in Texas. It's going to be in like the 90s. And so I've been trying to look for things that I can wear by themselves in the heat. But then when I come home back to Virginia um, the following week, it's not going to be too hot to wear them. And so I found these dresses on sale for $12.48. I think they were originally $24.99. So they're half off. Um, and I don't know how well this is going to translate on camera, but it's basically like a sheath dress. And it's a silky material, um, and it's got this, like, sort of almost, like, stripe. And as you can see, it has, like, um, detailing, so it's more fitted. But I like it because it's more covered up, so, like, you know, for wedding events, like brunches and stuff, it's appropriate. Um, I thought it had pockets, but I don't think that it does. But it, um goes all the way down like this and it's a pretty it's like I guess what would be considered tea link so it's about the length of your knees and then it has a zipper um, up the back and they have these in a couple different colors they have um, this gray one well it looks gray from a distance but black and white one that I got and then it was so cheap for $12 so you can't beat that I got one in kind of um it's actually almost the exact same color as OPI mermaids tears which is kind of neat but I got another one that was also, and it's the exact same um, shape. It's just a very, like, dusty uh, robin's egg color. And it's the exact same thing. It's long. But I thought these would be good because there I can wear them by themselves with, like, sandals or boots. And here I can wear them over tights or with sweaters. So I thought, and for $12, like, you can't, that's sort of foolproof. You know, you're not out a ton of money if it ends up not, not working. But I like them because they are more fitted in the top. 
and then more of a looser, like almost bell shape at the bottom, which is nice. And then the other thing I got to show you, which is pretty exciting, is I um, had to search around a couple of stores near me, and I was told that almost all of the Philip Lim collection, and particularly the like purses and the satchels and even the men's like um, travel kit and things like that, basically anything that was like any form of a bag or a purse, sold out very quickly. Um, and actually, here where I live, I was told, and I, w I didn't actually go the day they came out because to tell you the truth, I made the mistake of thinking that nobody in my area would care about anything designer like that because I'm not, it's not that people don't dress well here, but we're not particularly like, I mean, it's Southwest Virginia, so it's not really fashion forward. And I didn't, I wasn't as concerned with like the designer as much as I just really liked the bags and thought they were cute. But I was able to get my hands on a mini satchel. And I'll show that to you real quick. Um, it was $35, which is a little bit pricey in my opinion, but I mean, if you know, like a coach bag or even Vera Bradley and stuff's really expensive. So I thought for a sturdy fall purse, I would go ahead um, and give it a whirl. But anyway, I got the yellow mini satchel and I liked the size of it because the big satchel was almost like a carry-on size and I wanted one to take as a purse. And so here it is and I'll actually kind of um, unwrap it with you so you can see. I'll take all the... Uh, paper and the gel silk out, but it has a small pocket in the front, which would be good for like gum or your wallet or your car keys. And then, and it's magnetized, which is nice. Whoops, ugh, Webster heard the UPS truck. Now it's gonna flip out. Webster, it's okay. Hopefully he won't come to our house because then Webster will just bark this entire video. Um, and it has a strap to where you can carry, I can't cut that tape. I'll have to get there we go the scissors obviously I did not unpackage this prior to making this video but it has a handle that is removable um, it has a little clip so you can remove it to make it crossbody which is nice and then also just has handles if you want to carry it like bowling bag style and it's nice it has a zipper detailing so you can expand it ever so slightly but you can also zip it up if you like more of a like a clean look on the end and I'll kind of um, let me do that for you so you can kind of see. You feel strong? No. Oh my gosh. I don't know why. Even it's not coming to our house, you freaked out. Sorry about that. But yeah, here's the side with the satchel sticking out. Or not the satchel, but the zipper open. And then if you want it to be a little bit more compact looking, here's the side without it sticking out and here's the side with it sticking out. And inside, like considering it's so small, it's actually pretty roomy. And I like that you can tuck the zipper inside or you can tuck the zipper outside depending on, you know, what kind of look you want. But it doesn't have a ton of pockets. It's pretty open. And then it has um, a zipper pocket on the side, like most purses do, just a smaller zipper pocket. And then on the other side, it has um, an area for like your cell phone, you know, or whatever you want to put a pocket that doesn't zip. Basically, it has one pocket that zips and then one pocket that doesn't. But I was really excited to be able to get these. Um, I was told in my area, at my particular store that's closest to my house, that Webster stopped. But they sold out in um, less than five minutes, and so I was not prepared at all for that. I mean, and I know online was pretty much wiped out in a really short period, but I debated over getting the taupe because it's more neutral, but I really wanted um, kind of a more fall color, so I went for the yellow, and I think this would probably be okay any season, too. But I wanted to show that to you guys because I had a couple people that were asking me about it. But anyways, if you, um, anybody that... Anybody that knows me knows that I love Target. Um, there, my store is being kind of slow on putting the Halloween out. I did see um, some really cute, like kind of rainbow colored pumpkins and a lot of glitter things and stuff. And um, actually, <laughs> I tried on a hot dog Halloween costume, which is on my Instagram. And I kind of wanted it, but it was a little bit expensive. So maybe I'll wait and see if they mark it down and then I'll hop to nab it for Halloween because it was just too funny. And the funniest thing about the hot dog costume, it actually has a matching dog costume. So Webster and I 
could both be hot dogs together. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you found anything cool at Target lately, and I will talk to you later. Bye.